Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Really quickly, I just wanted to talk about some of the mistakes that women make in relationships. Women who don't know their worth. Women who are second guessing who they are. And they're not really confident in their ability to attract and have a wholesome, healthy relationship. One of the first things I want to say, and I say this all the time, and this cannot change, and I'm going to say it, I'm going to keep saying it, just in case you missed the video, I'm going to say it. One of the mistakes women make in relationships is not knowing who they are. When you don't know who you are, you tend to attract people who don't know who they are. When you are not confident in who God created you to be and your abilities to launch your abilities to leap and you second guess your worth you're going to attract someone who second guess their worth and a, one of the first mistakes women make in relationships is not taking the time to figure out who they are i don't know who i am but i need to set some time away to figure out what it is i'm supposed to be doing we get so hung up in our daily struggles. I just, Miss Athena, I'm just trying to get through the day. And your relationships represent that. I just want to hug today. I don't care if this man can, and you know, can um, has the capacity for my dreams and ambitions. I could care less. As long as I get today and he can feel the void in the womb today, taking no thought about what tomorrow gonna hold in that relationship because I just want to get through today because I really don't have a vision for where I'm going in my life and so I become vulnerable you become vulnerable to people walking in your life and now they're a distraction and for the few things that you knew you may have wanted you find yourself way off course you find yourself looking for how do I land, did I land myself in this toxic relationship? Why do I keep attracting men who are not emotionally available to me? Why do I keep attracting men who won't commit to me? Because you don't have standards. And you don't have standards because you don't have vision. And you don't have vision because you won't take the time out to deal with yourself, to heal old emotional wounds, to release old emotional baggage so that you can have the capacity to see what it is, why, why it is that God created you. And because you won't do that, and because you don't know who you are, and because you don't know your worth, and because you are comfortable in your comfort zone, you are comfortable settling in your struggle, then you keep having the same cycle of relationships. And you feel defeated in that area in your life. Some people do good things. They got good jobs. They may not have plan to have a really good job, this really good job, but the door opened and now they make really nice change. And You may even make money in a place you really don't even want to be at. But it's good money, so I stayed. And now I start having kids in this job. And now I, didn't make, I make so much money, I'm scared to really get out and take the risk and become who I need to become. And that's what it is sometime in your relationships. You met Billy at 20. And you and Billy just start having kids. And Billy ain't really the right person for you. <laughs> Billy and you then grew apart. And here you still are with Billy. Because you don't have, you've never sat down and GPS your life. Where is it that I'm supposed to be going? What are my goals? What are my goals? How am I supposed to get there? And is Billy a fit for that? Is Billy a fit for that? I don't want to get off. I wrote some notes here. I talked about the mistake we make. I wrote down, okay. One of the mistakes we make is we we have sex in our relationships entirely too fast we give our bodies away too fast in relationships i just wanted a hug and <laughs> i got a hug or your little happy place down there just wouldn't shut up and so you got billy bob to kind of put out that little fire for you 
Now you got yourself caught up in a in an emotional roller coaster with this person because you needed some company yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. And then today you got tears because Billy is interested in your sex. He was not really interested in you. And although he was really nice to you in the beginning because that was the right thing to do and I want more of her sex. And by the way, I'll be good to your kids because I love your sex or or simply because maybe you've met a narcissist or maybe you met somebody who's super selfish and they love bombed you in the beginning and they begin to feel all of these emotional voids in your life and you totally fell for them, ignoring red flags because narcissists will give you every red flag in the world, ignoring your God-given woman intuition that if you listen to your woman intuition, she'll tell you, listen, honey, do not go over Foos Hill. You're like, I'm going to go ahead and try Foos Hill because Foos Hill feel good right now. And I promise you, it causes you more tears than not. A big mistake women make in relationship is having is mistaken sex for love. Sex is not love. A man can lay with you and be passionate about being with you and give two shakes of a nickel about a future with you. That's why you see so many women in relationships today where men won't honor them and give them their name. Now, I'm not going to lie. For me, it I had to get up and walk away. I had to say, you know what? You know, I'm going to go ahead and let you figure you out. In the meantime, I got to go this way. And my husband was like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> but first, he let me take that exit right on out of his life. And it took me a long time to do that. But when I begin to heal the wounds of my past, and I begin to heal daddy issues and mommy issues and little girl issues and issues with uncles and all those other issues I had, and I really begin to heal from those, and I cast down the mindset and the negative thought patterns that align themselves with those bad experiences. Those fear filters that I used to live through that you blinded me and had my all my vision all blurry. They begin to come down and I was able to step in uncomfortable situations so that I can begin to grow. Now, was that easy? Heck no, it wasn't easy. It's not easy. Because years and years of the same mentality and trying to break that so that you can blossom into your better self is not easy. I'm not going to sit here and give you no great motivational speech and tell you how easy that is. It's not easy. But oh, is it worth it? Oh, is it worth it? It's worth it. When you are confident and confidence only come from you allowing yourself some time to focus on you and that hug you're looking for that you get confident enough to give it to yourself at night. It wasn't until I got real comfortable being by myself. My husband came and was like, I'm ready to move forward. And this is the thing. He had wanted to get married before but because where I was going and where I was headed, I just didn't think he was ready for it. I had to give him his ring back. And it was embarrassing. I was embarrassed. But God said, no. No. Not that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Then again, I had to give my ring back. I was like, God, this, this is the good part. I thought you said no. Mm -mm. Because he didn't look like what I needed to fulfill my purpose. So I began to move on. And I even thought I started liking somebody else. And God said, see, that's, see, that was your problem. There's your problem right there. Your problem is you're scared to be alone. Your problem is you're scared to be alone with your thoughts. Your thoughts hurt. Those old wounds hurt. They hurt. And you hate being alone with them. And you being alone makes you feel unworthy. You being alone reminds you of being abandoned and rejected. When the truth is, if you would just embrace this alone time in your life and allow me to show you why I created you, those little dreams you keep having that you keep putting to the side, those have come true in your life. I got plans for you. And when I decided to break free and embrace my alone time, voila. 
life began to change for me. Ladies, you don't have to remain stuck in unproductive situations or unproductive cycles, making the same mistakes over and over again. Some of you women think you can buy love with sex. Some of you women are using your resources to buy people. You're going bankrupt trying to prove to a man who will never marry you. A man who has no... I don't... Listen, let me tell y'all something. If a man does marry you for money, you're going to know it. Because he will never satisfy you for real. It ain't worth it. And truth is, you said there's a shortest of a man. No, it ain't. God know your man. In the Bible, when Jacob wanted Rachel... <laughs> He hated Leah. Hated her. But he slept with her and he gave her children. Men can do that. People can do that. Marry you. Don't even want you. Trying to not have to pay child support. Trying not to pay have to pay alimony. Or maybe you're super convenient. And you jump to every tuna they beat. While you are abandoning your purpose. Enough is enough. There's no need for you to keep attracting the same unproductive relationships in your life. Secret. All you have to do. Let me make sure this is it. All you have to do. Because this is the last point I want to make here. Is retreat. Sit down. Figure out what it is you want. I don't care where you're at right now in your relationship. I don't care if you're at your three or four year mark and you say, I think now I really am trying to start all over. All I'm going to tell you to do right now is, I'm not going to tell you to top yourself out the relationship if it's unproductive. I'm going to say sit down. Spend some time with yourself. Figure out why you stay when you know you're not happy be for real what voice is this person feeling in your life that you can feel yourself what is it that you need to forgive who is it that told you that you wasn't good enough why you keep giving yourself away to unproductive people why do you sleep with people so fast what is and if you need help finding that out, that answer, reach out to me. I'll help you find it. But in the meantime, figure it out. Because what we reveal in our lives, we heal in our lives. And as you begin to heal, as you begin to cast down old, unproductive thought patterns, <laughs> the sky is the and you will begin to soar and shed off any baggage that does not line up with your destiny because you will become confident enough to do so. And that is when you are walking in your queen status. I am a queen. And I don't let just anybody have this right here. I am. My most prized possession. This right here is priceless. And everyone does not deserve it. Not every spirit. Not every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Because I'm precious. And I'm valuable. And I refuse to settle anymore. I refuse to settle any. Listen, if this video blessed you, subscribe to my channel. But first of all, give that thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. But don't only subscribe. If you believe that this video helped you and you know it can help somebody else, share it. So someone else too can be free and they too can live the life that they desire to live. Listen, thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day.